You're watching the Oregon Ducks on Prime Sports Northwest, home of the Pac-10. One week ago, the Texas Tech Red Raiders opened their season with a convincing 41-7 romp over Cal State Fullerton. Senior quarterback Jamie Gill threw for two touchdowns and rushed for another. Three Tech fullbacks combined for over 100 yards rushing. Byron Bam Morris goes 39 yards for one score. The Red Raiders racked up 371 yards of total offense. Defensively, Cal State Fullerton held to 204 yards of total offense. Fred Petty, a key all night long. For the Ducks, Rich Brooks enters his 15th campaign with one of his better teams. Redshirt freshman quarterback Danny O'Neill got passing grades a week ago with the key man, sophomore tailback Sean Burwell, who rushed for 189 yards. Tonight, it'll be the Ducks of Oregon against the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. Beautiful night for football from Lubbock, Texas. It's a key intersectional battle between the Pac-10 and the Southwest Conference. It's the Oregon Ducks against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Good evening, everybody. I'm Todd McKim, along with former Oregon player and coach, not to be confused with player coach, Ken Woody. And welcome to Lubbock, Texas, for what we believe is going to be a very, very entertaining college football game. Ken, you look, first of all, at the Ducks, and they are on the road for the first time this season. They struggled a little bit on the road last year, one and three. And with a redshirt freshman quarterback, there are some concerns. Well, the Oregon home crowd, which is their 12th man, can't be here tonight in Lubbock. And if the Ducks are to continue their rise to the top of the Pac-10 Conference, they've got to play well and win on the road starting tonight. Well, one question certainly is not the tailback position for the Ducks. Sean Burwell has picked up where he left off a year ago. Last year, he rushed for almost 1,000 yards. And this year, already tied for the NCAA lead in rushing after just one game with 189 yards. But as far as the key to the game, Ken, what do you see as the Ducks' uh, keys that they have to do tonight? Uh, Oregon's got to uh, play with a, the pressure of the road. Last year, they were 1-3. and three. Uh, The one game they did win against Oregon State, they only scored a touchdown. Another thing, their defense has got to control the tempo of the game. They have one of the outstanding defenses in the Pac-10. They've got to use that, keep Texas Tech from really getting rolling. As far as Texas Tech is concerned, they've got a very good quarterback, a veteran, Jamie Gill, a three-year starter. He led them to a bowl game two years ago. He will be a very instrumental man in their offense. And the keys for Texas Tech tonight. Well, Texas Tech has got to get after Danny O'Neill and frustrate him. Last week, he completed only 43.5% of his passes. they got to keep him from playing well. And they've got to establish the running game. Oregon takes a great pride in defending the run. Texas Tech is a running team. They would like to establish that and keep themselves in the ball game. The Red Raiders in a bowl game two years ago, 4-7 and seven last year. The Ducks, of course, the last two seasons have made it to postseason play. They'd like to make it three in a row, and to do that, they might want to win here tonight. When we come back, we'll have the opening kickoff. It's the Ducks against the Red Raiders. <laughs> 